In this video, we're going to be building the 555 monostable circuit. The materials that I will be using are a breadboard, the 555 timer chip, two push button switches, jumper wires, an LED, three resistors with values of 330 ohm, 470 ohm, and 100k ohm, two capacitors with values of 3.3 microfarads and 10 microfarads and finally a 6 volt power supply. We'll start by placing the 555 timer chip onto the breadboard. Then we'll place the two push button switches onto the breadboard. We'll start with pin 1 which we will connect to ground. Pin 2 is our trigger pin which we will connect to power using a 330 ohm resistor. Then we'll connect pin 2 to the bottom left of the push button switch and connect the top right to ground. Next is pin 3. Pin 3 is our output, so we'll use the 470 ohm current limiting resistor and attach our LED to ground. Next is pin 4, which is our reset pin. We'll connect it to the top left pin of our second push button switch and connect the top right pin to power and the bottom right pin to ground. Next is pin 5, which is connected to ground using the 3.3 microfarad capacitor. Then we'll connect pin 6 to pin 7 and connect pin 8 to power. The final part of the circuit is our timing components, which consists of the resistor and capacitor. We'll connect the 100K resistor from power to pin 7 and we'll connect the 10 microfarad capacitor from pin 6 to ground. Finally, we'll connect our two ground and power rails together and connect our power supply. When we press the push button switch, our LED will stay on for a certain amount of time, which is predetermined by this resistor and this capacitor. The equation for the time constant, T, is equal to 1.1 times the resistor value times the capacitor value. For my circuit, I used a 100K resistor and a 10 microfarad capacitor. So my time constant will be 1.1 times 100,000 times 0 .00001. This gives me a time constant of approximately 1.1 second. Of course, at any time, if you wish to reset your circuit, you could press this push button switch down here. 